I'm Christina Awayo in Dallas, and here are your top stories. Scientists knew in 2015 that mRNA vaccines could alter DNA, and the spike protein is a, quote, toxin that can cause serious damage, according to medical studies. The information was revealed in a Senate Homeland Security hearing titled Voices of the Vaccine Injured. Dr. Robert Malone, a physician and early mRNA researcher, testified criticizing the COVID-19 vaccines. Malone argued that these shots represent an experimental genetic modification platform rather than a traditional vaccine, with the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein acting as a toxin capable of causing widespread harm like clotting and inflammation, dangers he claimed were known since at least 2015 based on prior coronavirus studies. A key paper that year in expert review of vaccines described mRNA as a tool for genetic reprogramming of cells, warning it could alter protein production in ways that mimic gene therapy without the permanence of DNA changes, but with risks like unintended immune reaction or off-target effects. By 2015, researchers knew mRNA could integrate into cellular processes in unpredictable ways. Studies highlighted how synthetic mRNA might trigger inflammation or even reverse transcribe into DNA under certain conditions, potentially leading to long-term genetic issues. This wasn't abstract. Labs were already testing it for cancer and infectious diseases with early red flags about stability and delivery issues. Fast forward to COVID, where critics argue the vaccine was never a vaccine in the classic sense, like a weakened virus or protein subunit, but a high-tech genetic hack. A 2023 review in microbiology and immunology echoed this, noting mRNA's role in genetic modification was downplayed during the emergence rollout. Critics say federal agencies like the FDA fast-tracked something experimental, mandating it for jobs and schools without fully disclosing the full scope of the vaccine and its possible side effects. That's what you need to know in Dallas. Christina Wyatt.